current leader is the, of the Jedi. There you go. I he, love that. He sees the vision, and then he adapts his goals and his style to that. Oh, vision. fantastic. You took the words out of PMI's mouth. <laughs> because when you talk about adaptive, we have situational leadership, which is adaptive. So we have a model called the Hersey Blanchard model. And right now we're going to chapter two. This is kind of chapter two. So it says, set a clear vision. And that sounds like your leader, which is awesome. You know, the, the good book says, where there's no vision, the people perish. And, and it's true. Where people don't know what they're meant to do, they're all over the place. Um, in any walk of life, right? And then it says, value servant leadership, determine the appropriate leadership style. So that one is right on the money. I like the fact that he adapts his style. That's how the PMI advocates that you should. And we want you as a leader to understand influence and persuasion versus carrot and sticks. There you know those leaders who use carrot and sticks. And some of them use carrots in a bad way. It sounds like, oh, we're going to get a reward. No, they're giving you a reward because they don't trust you. So I don't know if you remember from way back when, uh, maybe from your MBA and so on, we have two uh, categories, Theory X managers and Theory Y managers. And the Theory X, you know, the reason why we call them Theory X, their arms are fallen like an X, like, yeah, I bet Raina's just playing on that phone of hers. She ain't doing any work. And then you have those that are Theory Y, which are the open arms, they believe the best in you, they want to push you forward into your excellence and stuff like that. So we don't want to be Theory X, we want to be Theory Y. So in this uh, one, leading a team for the exam, you gotta be aware of the Hersey Blanchard model and situational leadership. Don't lead everyone the same way.